so uh, today we will discuss a very very important topic why this topic is very important you know uh, you will be the teacher uh, in future as the bid students and uh, uh, the every teacher should know about the educational psychology and educational psychology is very uh, important subject matter for all uh, students teachers parents and all the stakeholders related to uh, uh, the uh, related to education or teaching learning process so today we will discuss very important topic that is called the growth development and maturation how growth develop growth and development and maturation are related to teaching learning process why should the teacher why should the stakeholders of education should know about the growth and development because without knowing the growth and development a teacher cannot guide the students perfectly without knowing the the different developmental characteristics at different stages of life a teacher or the parents or any stakeholders even the students cannot prepare themselves for their uh, prosperity for their development for their better learning so growth and development are the important subject matters of educational psychology sometimes what happens both the terms are often used interchangeably because both the processes are interrelated and interdependent on each other as far as individual is concerned sometimes people think that growth is development and development is growth but actually both are not uh, the same both the concepts have some differences so let you discuss what is the meaning of the growth and what is the meaning of development then we will discuss what are the basic differences between the growth and development in simple words we can say growth refers an increase in size length height and weight which can be observed and measured using different units like kilogram centimeter meter etc in other words we can say growth is the process of bodily changes it implies uh, it implies the change or the growth of different body parts or muscles brain etc in simple word we can say we can say in a single sentence what is growth the physiological or structural change of the body or physiological or structural change of an organism is called growth this is the very simplest meaning of growth so next the question is what is development then what is development so on the other hand development refers to development refers to the change in structure form or shape and also improving, uh, improving the functioning of the body it means that development not only implies the biological or physiological changes or structural changes but also the functional operational uh, and psychological changes in other word we can say development is both development includes in includes growth and also the operational or functional functions of the body or functions of the different parts of the body in, in other word we can say say development refers both quantitative and qualitative changes behavioral changes of an organism clear so let uh, here i i want to give some uh, uh, definitions here so in a, per, per, particularly to understand the meaning of growth and development clear according to elizabeth harlock development means a progressive series of changes that occur in orally predictable pattern as a result of maturation and experience try to understand this very good definition given by elizabeth harlock with the contributors of many psychological books like your uh, child development okay or uh, child development this is a very important book contributed by uh, elizabeth harlock so his uh, elizabeth harlock says development means what development means a progressive series of changes that occurs in orderly predictable pattern he want to say development is predictable development follow the orders clear and how it happens how the development occurs 
Now it happens as a result of maturation and experiences. It means that Elizabeth Hurlock wants to say the development happens. A development uh, is because of the maturation and experiences. This is the very good definition given by Elizabeth Hurlock. Now we will uh, discuss about the definition of J. E. Anderson. What J. E. Anderson says? Development does not consist merely of adding, uh, adding, development does not consist merely of adding inches to one's height or improving one's ability. Instead, development is a complex process of integrating many structures and functions. Try to understand what Anderson says. Development does not consist merely of adding inches to one's height or improving one's ability. Instead, development is a complex process of integrating many structures and functions. Here, uh, Anderson wants to say, development is not simply the changes of the bodily part of the individual, changes of the height, weight, or improving of any one ability. It is multidimensional in nature. It is multidimensional in nature and it is integrated in nature. Would you get my point? So, this is the definition given by uh, your J. Anderson. In, in, in short, we can say, in short, in, 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 in not so, we can say, growth is physiological or structural changes of body, while development encompasses, development implies both physiological and psychological changes. Thus, the development can be mathematically described as, in mathematical you can say, development equal to growth plus capacity plus maturation plus interaction with environment. Again, I, want, I, I am repeating. What is development? You can say mathematically, you can say development equal to growth plus capacity plus maturation plus interaction with environment. I hope you might have understood uh, uh, the basic meaning of growth and development. Let me discuss what are the differences between growth and development. What are the basic differences between the growth and development? What I have told you, first difference, growth means structural and physiological changes of an organism. In other words, growth refers to increase in bodily dimensions like height, weight, length, size, etc. Development refers to, on the other hand, development refers to both physiological and psychological changes of an organism. It means it replaces or it reflects or it implies the bodily and functional changes of an individual that is your physical, mental, linguistic, moral, emotional, social, etc. Second difference is that growth is quantitative changes which can be measured directly using the units. It is the quantitative in nature which can be measured, which can be uh, expressed in numerical terms. Would you get my point? By number also, for example, height, which can be expressed in numbers like kilogram, sorry, height can be expressed in cm, meter, feet, etc. Would you get my point? Size of a person can be measured through meter, cm, weight with kg, etc. So, this is the growth. But the development is both quantitative and qualitative in nature. It can be measured directly or indirectly. It, uh, generally, if you uh, measure or uh, try to assess the qualitative aspects of the uh, aspects of development, it is relatively uh, assessed, it is relatively measured. Could you get my point? So, through qualitative techniques, through to, uh, your qualitative uh, units, we can say assess the measure, uh, we can assess the what uh, the, the qualitative parts of the or psychological uh, components of development, like intelligence, like personality, like interest, etc. Okay, so this is the uh, you are uh, the second uh, difference. Third difference is that uh, you are uh, growth is narrow in nature. Actually, growth is the scope of growth is very narrow. Scope of growth is very narrow, and uh, the scope of uh, your uh, development is wider, or you can say 
comprehensive because development encompasses or development includes growth and all other aspects or and all other qualitative or psychological aspects next difference is that you are uh, a growth continuous till a particular age or stage only it means that growth is not a continuous process it will continue up to a particular period particular age so for example most of the psychologist says that uh, you are our physician says growth continues till 20 age for girls and 25 years for boys it means that mostly growth continues up to a particular period and it stops after maturity after it stops after physical maturity but development is a lifelong process it is a continuous process it starts from the birth and ends in that death it means that it is it, it covers development covers the whole life of the individual while growth covers only the part of the life part of the life clear another difference I, I want to say here growth refers to changes in the particular aspects of the body growth refers to the particular aspects of the body say your height structure weight etc etc but but uh, development implies the organization of the body Try to understand here a very important definition. Uh, you are difference. Uh, development implies the organization of the body as a whole. For example, by the growth in height, there will be changes almost in all functions of the body, physical, mental, social, emotional. For example, height of the person is increased. So this is the example of what? This is the example of uh, your uh, uh, growth. But due to the change of the height, okay, due to the change of the height, the behavior of the individual also changes. The, the emotions of the uh, individual is also changed. Uh, also, uh, individuals, the behavior also changes. That's why it means that uh, your uh, development implies or uh, development speaks about the holistic progress, holistic changes of an organism and growth refers to the particular part, particular wing or particular limb of the uh, body. Right. Another difference is that growth is always additive in nature. Growth is always plus in nature and it adds something to the existing structure. For example, the structure of a person, 5 feet 3 inch. Can you decrease it after you are um, increasing the age? No. The structure cannot be decreased. Could you get my point? So it is additive in nature. But development is both additive and subtractive. It means that something can be added or particularly the physiological part of the body is that is the additive in nature but the rest part so for example your mental ability you are emotion you are you can say the personality you are uh, you are mental health so these things are uh, you are it may be changing day by day it is a dynamic in nature could you get my point something uh, for example you um, you are labor hard you try to know something so you will uh, you will develop the word power, stock of the vocabulary, conceptual clarity, etc. But uh, due to different dangers, this conceptual clarity or we can say your memorization, the stock of vocabulary may also be decreased at any moment. So it is both additive in nature as well as the subtractive in nature. Another difference is that your growth is unidirectional and it proceeds along, uh, along forward directions only. It means that growth, uh, you are, uh, proceeds the for forward direction only uh, and but development is multidirectional and it proceeds both forward, backward and both. It proceeds forward, backward and both. It is influenced by, try to understand, growth is mainly, growth is specifically influenced by heredity or you can say the biological factor but development is the byproduct of both heredity and environment. It means that development is influenced by both biological factor or heredity that is called you can say gene factor as well as the environmental factor it may be social environment it may be physical environment it whatever it may be it is influenced by growth uh, both heredity and environment so another difference is that growth can be happened sudden it means growth is sudden growth is sudden but development is gradual it is a continuous process it is a continuous process growth may not depend on development it's a normal process physiological changes is a normal normal process it's a natural process 
<coughs> sorry but development depends on growth development depends on growth it means that you are uh, uh, your growth is the prerequisite of development growth is the prerequisite of development so this is what is called the uh, you are i can say the difference between the growth and development this is the difference between the growth and development let us discuss the in short we can say what is the nature of growth and development first thing that both the terms growth and development often used interchangeably generally the people use the term growth and develop interchangeably but both the terms are not uh, not same growth is structural more or less structural and development is more or less functional or operational in nature growth is quantitative in nature development is quantitative both quantitative and qualitative in nature growth is influenced by the biological factor or heredity you can say development is uh, you are uh, influenced by uh, you know uh, environment so growth is you are a cellular but development is organizational okay growth discontinues development progressive okay growth discontinues but development is progressive it is a continuous process it is a lifelong process okay these are the output and in short we can say growth and development are the output of heredity and environment and both go both growth and development go hand in hand these are the we can say the nature of growth and development let us discuss uh, in in short the what is maturation this is a very short question it will come in the examination what is maturation now we will discuss what is maturation you know in simple language maturation is the physiological growth up to a certain level at which the child is able to develop some abilities what is uh, your maturation maturation is the physiological growth up to a certain level at which the child is able to do some ability if a proper maturation is not attained it will be difficult on the part of the child to develop mentally emotionally or socially it means that maturation is the prerequisite of development without physical or mental maturation one cannot develop physically emotionally or socially could you get my point so here i want to say a few definition regarding the uh, your maturation one uh, we will discuss here one two definitions uh, your gesell views what is the views of gesell gesell says maturation is the net sum of gene effects operative in a self limited life cycle try to understand maturation is the net sum of gene effects operative in a self limited life cycle it means that maturation is affected by the gene it means that maturation is affected by the hereditary factor and it is self limited it depends from person to person according to the hereditary principle according to the characteristics brought through the genes or from the offspring or your forefathers it has been determined gates and jersil says maturation is growth that proceeds regularly within a wide range of environmental conditions and that take place without special conditions of stimulus simulation such as training and practice again i am repeating maturation is growth that proceeds regularly within a wide range of environmental conditions or that take place without special conditions of simulation such as training and practice this is the definition of your uh, gates and jess okay so let you discuss what are the uh, there are number of definitions are there here i have no time to speak my, uh, much more uh, things and uh, let you discuss what are the basic characteristics of uh, your maturation first it is sum of gene effect maturation is the outcome or you can say the influence of the gene effect it is a natural and automatic process it is a natural and automatic process it is it it generally implies physical maturity it means that generally generally maturation implies the physical maturity it helps for structural changes which impacts on functional readiness try to understand it helps it means the maturation helps for structural changes which impacts on functional readiness you know uh, you are uh, some parts of the body you can uh, say 
that will be developed at a particular time only. Not ever. For example, Amit Kavya Danto Uthibada. Janma Ho Kavya Danto Uthibada. That particular time as well, Danto Uthibada. Jemiti Onneka Kavya Chamara. So, this is the output of the maturation. It is completion of growth and consolidating mental, social and emotional development. So, it is the completion of growth, maturation is the completion of growth and consolidating and maturation or the growth, uh, maturation is the completion of the growth and that impacts and growth impacts the consolidating the mental, social and emotional development. And very important thing that it is very question for a TET, teacher eligibility test, maturation is a precondition of learning, try to understand, maturation is the prerequisite or precondition of learning, but maturation is not learning, or learning is not maturation, try to understand, maturation is not learning, but maturation influences the learning, maturation is the precondition of learning, without maturation learning cannot take place, but maturation is not learning, so it is not development, but may assist the process of development, again I want to say, develop, your maturation is not development, rather Maturation helps, maturation assists the process of development. It in, in, influences, maturation influences acquisition, retention and recall in the process of learning. It influences the acquisition, retention and recall in the process of learning. And it is essential for giving any training. Maturation is essential uh, giving training. For example, I am going गोटे तीन वर्ष पिला कहबा तो जे मिलिटरी ट्रेनिंग ने आ गोटे लोड लोड नेक जा इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल केबे भी संभव नहि केबे भी संभव नहि काहे कि तार फिजिकल मैच्योरिटी आसी ना थिबो ओके सो इट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन फ्रॉम विदिन सो मैच्योरेशन इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ विदिन ओके सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ योर मैच्योरेशन here we have discussed what is growth, what is development and what is maturation and also we have discussed different definitions of growth, development and maturation. Now I am going to discuss a very very important topic from examination point of view for teacher eligibility test as concern, for, for net education as concern, for whatever it may be. This is very important and particularly for the teachers, those who are uh, interested, those who are uh, intending to be the good teacher, they should know this thing first. So, what are the principles of, general principles of development? This is a long question for your uh, BA students, uh, your MA education students, uh, education honor students. And this chapter, at least two, three questions will come in your any teacher eligibility test. Try to understand. So, let you discuss the what are the uh, your general characteristics of development. The first general characteristics, I want to say first the characteristics, then I will analyze one by one. First is that development follows a sequence or development follows a pattern. Number two, development is a lifelong process or development is a continuous process. Development proceeds from general to specific. Another important characteristics, development proceeds from general to uh, specific. It is influenced by, it is influenced by both heredity and environment. Next, development is an individualized process. Development is predictable. Development is cumulative in nature. Development is both positive and negative. Most traits of development are correlated. Development is progressive and spiral. Try to understand. Individual difference is natural in rate of development. Individual difference is natural in rate of development. Next, development is gradual, not sudden. Development is unique. Development is unique. Development is both qualitative and quantitative in nature. So these are the characteristics. Uh, the general characteristics or general principles of development. Development is different in different stages. Development is different in different stages. So, these are the characteristics or you can say general principles of growth and development. Here, I want to discuss some uh, important characteristics. First thing I have told you, the development follows a pattern or sequence. A question may arise in your mind. 
you know individual difference is very natural thing the your individual grows on their own pace or own uh, own their own pace or own way still we are telling development is follows development follow the sequence or, uh, or we can say the pattern is it possible yes in some aspects we can say actually the rate of growth and development is different in different individuals due to several factors it means that each and every individual grows each and every de uh, individual develops in their own way because of their biological uh, influence because of the environmental factors it is true but sometimes in some sectors we can say development is influenced by in some uh, sector development follow the pattern development follow the how you can say sequence all individuals follow the same pattern for example cephalocardo very important for ott and ctt or any kind of the uh, your competitive examination cephalocardo try to uh, note down that term cephalocardo cephalocardo means what it, the question will be what is the meaning of the cephalocardo cephalocardo means head to heel it means from head to heel this is the meaning means for example a fetus grows from head to downwards when the fetus is created so it proceeds from or it grows from head to downwards similarly next is that proximo digita proximo digital means what development starts from center part and proceed to the periphery means that proximo digital means what this is the question Pro proximo digital means you are center to periphery central part to periphery okay the spinal cord of the individual develop first then outer development take place this is the example whenever the child uh, you are you, you are uh, uh, grows so first that the in the body first the spinal cord of the individual develops first then uh, outward development takes place this is the what is called the the principles of pattern the sequence that is you are uh, proximo digital now discuss about the another uh, sequence the locomotion locomotion sequence means what motor development follows an orderly sequence motor development jo ko me sanchalan shakti boli kouche it follows a sequence it follows a pattern for example an infant first learns to crawl then to sit stand walk and finally run almost all we follow we follow the same pattern nobody can directly sit nobody can directly run nobody can directly start first the child will crawl or creep then your seat stand walk finally run this is what is called you can say this is nothing but what the uh, the sequence so it is said development follows sequence or development follows the pattern okay here i have given the three uh, principles one is your cephalocardial which uh, which speaks about head to heel then your proximo digital so which uh, implies your central part of the body to the periphery and the locomotion what i have told you that every person every child follow the the sequence in their development in their life next is the development is a continuous process i have already told you development is a continuous process it continues throughout the life okay it starts from the uh, you are the birth when the child uh, you are from conception to death it means that when consumption to death it starts from the birth ends in the death it means the development takes place continually from one stage to another stage the development of one stage influence the reactions of the next stage also so it is a continuous process it is a lifelong process you can say okay another principle is that development proceeds from general to specific so this is very important point the child first shows the general responses then it proceeds to the specific responses so gradually the child grows specific responses after the general response i want to give an example here the, re the general response of a child to express anything is what what way the the an any part or a child express his emotion crying crying is the universal language to express the emotion to express the anger to express the joy to express the uh, the hungriness whatever it may be you can say express the hunger also the child what uh, expresses through the crying crying is the universal language you can say so after that when the child grows for getting anything for any demand for to fulfill any demand 
he does not uh, cry he speaks something it means that so crying is the universal language the first language then it proceeds to what develop the what then languages so we can say uh, we can say in simple words development proceeds from general to specific okay so uh, this is the another very important uh, uh, characteristics of uh, our uh, general principles of development let us discuss another uh, general principle that is development is by product development is by product means that development is the by product of two important factors one is biological factors that is called the heredity okay and another thing is that environment that is the ecological factors so development is influenced by heredity heredity means what heredity is a biological principles which the uh, through which the uh, offspring brings some characteristic through genes from the forefathers this is the what is called the hereditary factors particularly you are uh, the physical uh, uh, physical uh, aspects of the body for example the height weight structure of the body eye color of hair so these are the uh, we can say the output of or the contribution of heredity particularly and, uh, and another thing is that it is also influenced by the environment particularly you are uh, you know uh, emotions emotional development linguistic development social behavior personality so these are influenced by what the development so heredity influences the physical and the intelligence try to understand intelligence is an inherited capacity it is influenced by what uh, it is influenced by heredity so we can say in simple word heredity is the by is a by product it is a by product because it is influenced by two factors one is heredity and another is uh, your environment both factor play vital roles in determining different dimensions of development physical growth and mental development are mainly influenced by heredity in simple word while socio emotional development moral development linguistic development spiritual development these are contributed by the environmental factors so we can say you are uh, uh, development is the by product next is that development is individualized process each individual is unique you, i have told you each individual is unique each develop each individual develops in their own pace each individual develop in their own way depending on on their genetic characteristics environmental factors so we can say development is a is an individualized process individual develops in their own in its own pace or individual develop, individuals develop in their own pace according to their genetic factors according to their ability according to their capacity according to their strength so it is an individualized process another most important that most traits are correlated you cannot say physical development is not physical growth is not related to mental development mental development is not related to emotional development each and every physical development influence the mental development mental development influence for personality development your your uh, social development links with the emotional development emotions is related emotions are related to the social development so the most traits of the development are correlated it means the aspects of development like physical mental social emotional moral and spiritual depend on each other each and every aspects each and every aspects influence each other similarly i want to say another uh, you can say uh, the uh, characteristics there is individual differences it is very common thing you know no two individuals are alike no two individuals are same even the identical twins differ from one another what do you get my point so there is the individual differences there is the individual differences so differences is the unchanging law of nature unchanging law of nature so those individual development is a normal uh, differences uh, difference is a normal process it is shows in every stage of life in every individual so this is regarding i have told you the uh, different uh, uh, principles gener general principles of growth and development general principles of growth and development i hope you might have understood here today uh, i have discussed meaning and definitions of growth development and maturation differences between the growth and development and general principles of growth and development and this is very important long question for 
uh, any your uh, academic examination, particularly tournament examination. And in this chapter, you will get at least two, three questions in complete examination. If you have any doubt, you can ask me. Thank you.